Live, local, late breaking. Ain't this a wonderful kind of day? Because the Los Angeles Lakers are officially heading to Cancun. At least y'all not getting swept, right? At least y'all won a game. At least y'all won a game. I'm going to say this. Game five was a good game, but them free throws, it's like the Lakers live and die by them damn free throws. I'm like, the Lakers were about to steal game five on the road. We could have saw history, but nope, not at all. It's because the Lakers need all the free throws in the world, and they would still complain to the refs. They would still blame the refs after the game when they lose because for the I think for the first time, these free throws or tactics are not going to work at all. And the Nuggets, they were playing like absolute hot garbage. They could have lost this game, but Jamal Murray stepped up because he could have easily sat out this game and the Nuggets could have gotten exposed. But old Jamal Murray wasn't going to let that happen because he's a warrior. Kobe would have played in this game. No doubt. GG's to the Nuggets. Lakers, go join the Phoenix Buns and the Warriors. Another scapegoat. I've been seeing all over Twitter about how everybody's being scapegoated. Like Charles Barkley said, you threw um, Frank Vogel under the bus. You threw Russell Westbrook under the bus. Blamed Westbrook for every loss. And now it's going to be D'Angelo Russell. Because he didn't have his um, best series against the Nuggets last year. He didn't have his best game Um, against the Nuggets. I think it's game one and game three, but he played well for the remainder of the series. And they're still going to throw him under the bus. D'Lo, if I were you, I would get up out of Los Angeles if I were you. You and LeBron because this franchise does not care about winning. And these fans are so toxic because they believe in anything. They believe in the media. They want to throw people under the bus. And, um, It astonishes me that whenever a LeBron-led team is under the pressure, they throw people under the bus. D'Lo, Russ, Kyrie in the past, J.R. Smith, they've done it to everybody. That's just just, um, me speaking the facts. Um, Lakers could have had um, been tied up this series going to a game six, but that didn't happen. Nuggets play better. All right, who deserves the blame? First things first, um, it's got to be all the players for um, blowing that 20-point lead. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody, I don't think anybody played their best um, throughout the series. Y'all kept it close, but Darvin Ham deserves um, some blame. Or, hell, all the blame because Jared Vanderbilt was not listed on the injury list. Was not, was not mentioned on the injury list saying he was available. That's what I saw. But he doesn't play. I didn't see him like not one minute on the floor because Darvin Ham kept him on the bench the whole time. And I was disgusted. I mean, it was already too little too late, but Vanderbilt had not played a game since February 1st. And also to this front office. Oh, yeah, I got a lot to say to the front office. Four years ago, Y'all won a championship in the bubble. Y'all had the right pieces, the amazing pieces. And um, everybody was giving Rob Palenka, including me, their, his flowers because he did that. I gave Jeannie Buss her flowers because she did that. But here we are four years later, playing tournament after disappointment after disappointment. And after every scapegoat, you know what I'm saying? You make stupid decisions and it doesn't work out in, in the end. I'm going to say this on behalf of most of Laker Nation, the real fans, not the LeBron followers. Rob Palenka, Jeannie Buss, and Darvin Ham all need to go. Now get some smart people to run this franchise because you got to the Los Angeles Lakers for crying out loud. You got this team, this organization cares about winning championships. That's why y'all have... um, 17 banners in uh, in um, crypto.com arena which y'all basically booted the clippers from y'all supposed to be the big brothers which y'all still are but the clippers have a higher seed than y'all this year and they had a higher seed than y'all last year like literally 
Clippers should have been the seventh seed, and the and the Lakers could be like a top three seed. Until y'all get the the right pieces to be a top three seed, or at least make a deep run to win another championship, I'm not going to take this franchise seriously anymore. And I think LeBron James is on his way out, and AD is going to probably take over the whole team. We'll see what happens this offseason. I know, yeah, Phoenix Buns, you're next.